Okay, y'all, so I have got some information for you in regards to the midwifery program at Frontier University. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. These kids are, are running in on me. Too many go. thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep running. What's going on? What's happening here? I'm running. Oh, okay. be off the chain who can relate only do two squirts don't do more than two squirts you ring yourself out hello welcome back you guys and it is Reagan here just wanted to sit and take some time to tell you guys what happened during my midwifery meeting that I had two months ago okay don't judge me all right it's been crazy. So my second semester in nursing school ended. It was kind of weird. It was kind of a lot of stuff going on. Lots of kids moving around. So, you know, yes, I've been gone for a little bit, but now I'm back. So I wanted to share the information with you. So those of you that are interested in midwifery like I am, and you already have a bachelor's degree, there are some options for us um, out there. So the option that um, I researched was at Frontier University, which is in Kentucky, but they actually have a distance program that allows you to practice in the state that you live in. Yes, you don't have to move anywhere. So that is check on my box, you know, as far as being a plus, because I really, with my children, my family, I really don't want to move. I already moved to the Charleston area from Greenville, South Carolina. So moving again, it's kind of like, mm, not time for that yet. Not saying I'm opposed to it, but just not right now. And then everybody will have to get in the car and we move together because I, I, I wouldn't leave my family and like, I'd be somewhere else. And so all my kids would have to go. And so I'd have to make that happen. I'd have to stuff them in the trunk because I think some of them want to go other places and that's just not gonna happen because we have to stick together. We have to be together. I am that parent, okay? Okay, anyway, that was right. So back to what I was saying. So Frontier University, they do have a um, distance program that allows you to practice where you are. So those of you that are interested, definitely look them up. Um, if you have a bachelor's degree already, okay, um, you can definitely look into this program. So let me give you some of the, the deets on what I was told. So I'm currently in a ADN program in Charleston, South Carolina, and I have a bachelor's degree in psychology from the College of Charleston. And um, because of that, with Frontier University, they will allow you to actually apply to the program once you have completed your ADN you are licensed and you've worked a year. So it's not one of those things that where you can, you know, finish nursing school and roll out and go ahead and apply. You actually do have to have a year's experience as an ADN nurse in order to be ready to apply. So that was kind of like bummer, but you know, hey, it is what it is. And I understand why, you know, you want to get your skills up. Frontier has a certified nurse midwifery program. So those of us that are um, actually ADNs with a bachelor's degree, there is a separate admissions process. And so what you have to do is build a portfolio for them that allows you to also have um, a bachelor's degree when you apply in whatever field out there. So you can have a bachelor's degree in English, but then also have your ADN and be eligible to apply to this program, which is awesome. Um, and the reason why this is good is because in most programs you have to already like have a BSN, but for those of us who, you know, I'm not going to say don't want to spend the time, but you know, for those of us who already hold a bachelor's degree, I mean, you have that. So, um, just not in nursing. So, um, the admissions requirement, um, it requires that you have at minimum 3.0 in your nursing courses. So as you're in nursing school, you need to make sure that you maintain a GPA of 3.0 or higher in order to be considered for this program. 
uh, before applying, you are going to be building a portfolio. And in that portfolio is going to be your resume. So just an updated resume showing what you've been doing, where you've been working, and what you've been doing to improve your community, which is a lot of, you know, what I feel like nurses do anyway. So the other things that are part of that portfolio would be um, three letters of recommendation from um, either supervisors or professors that have worked that you've worked with. I think one of them actually do have to be one of your um, professors from nursing school. So keep that in mind because you know how them relationships be going, you know, which I mean, I've had nothing but great things to say about my professors at Trident. Um, they're very hopeful, you know, so. Um, but I've heard stories, just saying. So the midwifery program at Frontier takes two years. The first year will be your didactic studies where you will learn all of the, you know, background information and the information for your coursework that you will be participating in come your um, second year. Um, during your second year, you will be connected with a facility in your local area uh, where you will be able to practice alongside of another midwife who is in practice where you would learn your skills on birth and delivery. Okay. Uh, one of the other cool things with this is um, when you are done, you will be a certified nurse midwife, uh, which is a great thing. But if you take... Um, she called it Women's Health um, Nurse Practitioner. It's a graduate course. It's 11 weeks long. It adds another punch to that degree. So not only will you be a certified nurse midwife, but you become a Women's Health Nurse Practitioner, which would allow you to work um, in an OBGYN facility uh, and caring for women. It will allow you to care for women throughout their lifetime. Um, so I think that's great and it's a postdoc actually uh, certification um, so lots of options there I just wanted to share with you kind of how that went um, let me know if you have any other questions I'll probably re-record this and my son is probably gonna kill me all right so that was <laughs> Aiden! The struggle is real. Can you bring me my iPad and the box and the charger? Thank you, it's on my bed.